In closing, I want to say that when it comes to death and dying and this hereafter and all of that, there are some principles which we must understand. Number one, we cannot stop our death. It is inevitable. Death is a reality which all of us will experience. The Quran says every soul shall taste of death. So when something is inevitable and it's going to happen, don't waste your time agonizing over it, worrying about it, sitting and crying with depression. Oh my God, we're going to die one day. Whether you cry or don't cry, whether you get depressed or don't get depressed, whether you're frustrated or, you know, the reality is it's not going to change that all of us will die. So rather than spend your life worrying about the fact that we will die, accept it as a given and focus on living as long as you can and making life be lived to the fullest benefit that we can. That's the first thing I want to say to you. And then secondly, if we're not sure if something is going to happen after we die, because science cannot tell us anything, because science is based on observable data, uh, there's nothing to observe. Nobody comes back after death to tell us what is happening. So science don't have any answer. And the only clue we have is the dependence on these revelations that come from Allah. But let us assume, even for the purpose of argument, that nothing happens after death, that it's all a hoax, that it's just a fairy tale. And when we die, that's the end of it all. We still would have lived a decent, wonderful life as a result of that belief that something is going to happen. It, we will still have lived a life that is wonderful. But if you decided that nothing happens and you live your life careless. And then when you die and you put up with all that we're saying happens, you would be in a very bad place. And so the smart person is the one who says, you know what? I may not even be sure if something happened or not, but I'm going to make the bet that something may happen and I'm going to prepare for that. So I can cover my basis regardless. If nothing happens, I lose nothing. But if something happens, I am ready and I'm prepared. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Our religion has given us lots of information and warning about this. Try to live your life every day. We're not asked to do more than we have the capacity to. All of us have to just get up every day. Try to do as much good as you can. Understand what are the most important acts that Allah requires from us. Do the best you can within your circumstances. Allah is very merciful. Lastly, I want to mention, Allah is so merciful that there are some people who don't ask for forgiveness and Allah for causes them to become sick or put them through great difficulty and hardship as a way of giving himself an, an excuse to forgive their sins. When you go through hardship and sickness and difficulty, Allah forgives some of your sins as a result of that. And so because you didn't ask for the forgiveness, Allah says, okay, I'm going to still try to find a way to forgive you by allowing some hardship and difficulty and sickness to come to you. Uh, and then I will use that as a basis to forgive you some sins. So you can merit that. So even when we don't ask, Allah comes in and gives us an opportunity to be able to have our sins forgiven. May Allah help us and protect us. And that